Okay, so this is my standard suppressor, and let's get it open, and let's have a look what's inside. I use a mix, um, first of all, of the standard foam. This is what you get inside the standard Mark 23 suppressors. You'll get this um, out of the box. But one of the mods that a lot of us did pretty quickly is cut baffles in them like this. So this is one mod that you can do straight out of the box. If you haven't got any other materials, is cut these little baffles in your foam. That will make a difference. Not a huge difference, but it will make a difference. So that's the first modification you can do. And to cut that, you just, just use scissors, literally snip it there, snip it there, and you make sure there's just a small hole and it goes into that big area. I guess what the, the technically what this does, I guess, is allow the air to expand um, against in, into this chamber and it quiets it down. So that's the first mod I've done. The second mod that I use, I use something called Scotch Bright. And Scotch Bright, I'll tell you what I'm going to show you this first. Scotch Bright is used for cleaning, um, like you use it in a, in a, in a, for to washing dishes. And you can pick this stuff up really quickly. And it comes in pads like this. And what I do, um, and this is quite a common mod, you cut it into circles like this and you cut a hole in it. And I've got quite a few of these in here. Why does this work? Why is this more effective than the foam? It is more effective because there's a larger surface area and it's probably more porous than the foam you get in the Tokyo Marui suppressors. So it absorbs more of the sound. That's what I use. Um, so I cut it into holes. Some of the guys, I mean, I, when, I, when I first did this, I just used like a, a, a pocket knife. When I first did this, I used a pocket knife and I just cut that hole and then I even used a, 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 a candle just, just to get rid of the little edges when you had little little edges from, from cutting it. But some of the guys, I was talking to some of the guys in Sniper Ops this afternoon, and they use a drill and they put it, they use a reverse drill. So they get a big drill and they use the drill and they spin it backwards so it doesn't rip it. And they spin it backwards to put a hole through it. That's a quicker way, but I just used a knife um, and scissors just to cut that through. This will make a difference and I can show you how that makes a difference in just a moment and I'm going to show you now the third and final mod that I do to it and this one is a little bit a little bit special um, and it's a bit wild um, most people will get confused when they see it sometimes when you watch my videos you'll see the end of my suppressor where the BBs come out see that now, what they call this is the fart flap, the fart flap mod. Now, what this does, what you do, you take camo tape, you stick the camo tape over it, and then I use a razor blade, and that allows you to get a really precise cut. I cut it into um, an X shape. You can see there, I've cut it into an X shape. Some of the guys just blast their BBs through it and they put like a few dozen rounds through it and the BBs blast through it and then it creates like a, a sphincter that opens. Um, it works because it prevents the initial blast of sound popping out and as the air from the gun fires, this fart flap or sphincter opens and the BB comes out and when the gas stops it closes. This stops a lot of the sound. To do it, I literally stick it on here using the razor blade. I cut an X. I have used this mod, this fart flap mod, on my sniper rifles as well. It works. It works really well at quieting it. But I have found on my SRS and my VSR, both of them, occasionally it does affect the trajectory slightly. On the Mark 23, I do not notice it at all. Why that is, I'm guessing because there's so much air. When you fire this Mark 23 pistol, so much air comes out of it that it gets ahead of the BB and it's so much air to give a cushion around the BB that it blows it out. On the SRS, it's got high air volume, but nowhere near what the Mark 23 pumps out and nowhere near, the VSR doesn't have anywhere near the amount of air that blasts out. The other trick that might be worth considering with this, because the underside of the camo tape is quite sticky, I just wipe a little bit of silicon oil on the other side. Now, whether that makes a difference or not, I'm not sure, um, but I've done that. Uh, it, it's certainly, when I fire this thing, you cannot, um, it does not affect the trajectory. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what this sounds like with the silverback suppressor on. 
and then I'll show you it with just these very simple mods um, and how it makes a big difference. So this is the Silverback suppressor. Okay. And this is the TM suppressor with Scotch Bright mods, um, a couple of uh, TM foam cones, whatever they want to call them, uh, with baffles cut in and the infamous fart flap. The SRS suppressor, Silverback SRS. So you can, I hope you guys, and I hope the microphone's picking that up. Um, it's well worth checking out the On My MK blog. There's loads of different mods you can do to your Mark 23, and most of them are documented on this blog here, onmymk.com. Um, so I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, whether any of you try this, let me know um, how you get on whether it, whether you find it affects accuracy or not because as i said on my sniper rifles occasionally i notice the bbs might veer off a little bit with this thing maybe because it's lower fps much more air i don't find this affects range or accuracy at all certainly not that um, i can notice it so guys that's it see i'm wearing one of the new sniper ops t-shirts world champion hide and seek give, a, give this one a plug you can check that out at forswear.co.uk if you want hide and seek t-shirts and i'm going to say good afternoon guys thanks very much for joining and i hope you um found this useful have a great day